Just four years ago, an unlikely bond was created halfway around the world between an ultra runner and a little dog. In 2016, I was running a race across the Gobi Desert in China, a 155 mile, six stage, seven day self-sufficiency race. And on day two of the race, a little stray dog would come out of nowhere and start following me. And uh, she would go on to run 80 miles of the race, uh, and, uh, which is four stages. And we would spend pretty much the whole week together. She would sleep with me at night, we'd run together during the day, and we'd form a bond that would become unbreakable. Traveling to 11 countries with three passports, Gobi is a world traveler and has met some interesting people along the way, such as the royal family and even the president of Slovenia. She's traveled a lot and she loves it. She just still likes an adventure. She likes to be next to me, whatever I'm doing, she's happy. In 2019, Finding Gobi was selected as the book for the annual Lafayette Reads Together program, which is a community-wide reading program sponsored by the local public library. The adult book in particular, which they were giving away, details my tough early childhood, a very abusive upbringing, uh, going on into running. And there's so many moments of love and warmth and friendship that they saw it as a really nice read for them to be able to share within the community. That's how I first initially came last year, to talk to the community, and uh, we've been invited back again, which has been fun. But Gobi's story isn't over just yet. The book finishes uh, quite quickly at the end of us getting back to Edinburgh and since then Gobi and I have had so many adventures and journeys around the world. Our stories um, touch many people with their own stories as well that I think there's an opportunity there to write more about what's happened since. There's also a live action movie in the works coming to theatres sometime in the near future. As for Gobi, she's no longer running ultra marathons but rather running to raise money for charities so other dogs can find their forever home like she did. For STM On Air, I'm Carlin Sakani Matthews.